everyone is sharing what you did in the last 24 months. And for us, it is about new products, uh, new technologies. Um, if you look at the show here in Barcelona, it is pretty much about mapping. We have mappings out there in the city, which are quite popular. Uh, we have an uh, immersive art experience in Hall 2. And we do show several new products um, in, in projectors from Barco, Epson and Panasonic, the RQ25, uh, the 2220 from Epson and the G100 from Barco to give our customers and all the players in Europe the opportunity to have a view at the latest products. On LED side, we show this lovely screen behind me, which is an IMD um, LED screen uh, with a 1.2 mil pixel pitch. It is called Venus and it is a rental solution. And this is really new because so far the rental market used pixel pitches above two millimeter. And now there's a stronger demand below two million. There's been many, many things that have really changed, I think, after COVID for sure. Um, I mean, the first thing we had to get used to is this hybrid working, hybrid learning, being half home, half office, half school, half universities in a way. Yeah, clearly the technology needed to follow that. It was a big change for the industry. Some of it we started to see already, but clearly COVID has actually accelerated that in order to make sure and platforms, hybrid platforms get rolled out. I think we still need to get used, I think, and in a quick way as well, the intelligence that sits around data. Um, the examples I can give here at Sony is, for instance, when we go into meeting rooms, we got sensors now pretty much all over the place to say the capacity in rooms, what the temperature is, all done in a very automated level. So there's some very exciting trends happening uh, in pretty much every sector and every uh, application with customers. So, in this industry, you need to keep up, really, I think, with, with uh, all of these trends and make sure we stay in the forefront to excite and inspire our customers. One of the things that we did during the shutdown, because we couldn't travel, is we really focused on looking at our product range and what we thought or anticipated was going to happen after people have been in lockdown. Now, clearly, the lockdown lasted a lot longer than we expected, two years, two and a half years. Um, and I think we've guessed it quite right, and that is that people are going to come out of it, they're going to be hungry to get back into doing events, uh, back into connecting with people, but they're also going to have to really watch and have a look at their budgets. So our product offerings really have taken that into account. We've really looked at what we can do to bring in new products that operate more cost-effectively, but use a lot of the accessories that our customers have already bought.